My name is Dr. Ken Anderson. I'm a board certified facial plastic surgeon, and since 2003, I've dedicated my entire career and practice to the treatment of hair loss in men and women, both offering surgical modalities as well as non-surgical modalities. After my training in facial plastic and reconstructive surgery, in 2003, I joined a very busy practice in Beverly Hills, California. That practice was dedicated to uh, hair restoration surgery, and since then I've performed nothing but hair restoration surgery. Initially I was very skeptical about LLLT because of the fact that it was presented with no human data. LLLT has been around since the 60s, but really in terms of dermal applications it's really been only in the last 10 or 15 years. I was there in 2004 when the physician introduced the HairMax laser comb, which had I believe five lasers on it, and it just seemed a little bit cheesy to me and I thought patient compliance would be a real problem because not many people want to comb their, men especially, want to comb their hair for 20 minutes every other day so the compliance issue w w popped right up and plus he had no human data. Over the past seven or eight years however many studies, controlled studies, uh, placebo device double-blinded controlled studies have come out proving the efficacy uh, of the uh, laser devices. I'm often asked, how does LLT work? Why is it going to make my hair uh, you know, stop falling out or perhaps come back? And I, I tell my patients, it's kind of like sending your hairs to the gym. It's a biostimulatory uh, uh, therapy in that it stimulates uh, the hair cells to both stay in the growth phase longer, re-enter the growth phase sooner, and stay out of the, uh, the non-growth phase uh, for as long as possible. I'm often asked by patients, uh, am I a candidate for low-level light laser therapy? And I will say that most patients, unless there's in some unusual skin condition or neoplasm, uh, most patients with typical female or, ma or male pattern balding are candidates for the uh, photostimulation and the benefits that a, a laser cap such as the, the Capillus laser cap will provide. There are many types of laser devices on the market today. You've got the HairMax laser comb, and there are at least four different types of, of laser cap devices that I'm aware of. The Capillus laser cap, of course. There's a competing brand called Laser Cap. There's also a, a brand called iGrow. There's also one called Theradome. I've chosen in my practice to offer the Capillus laser cap because it offers the greatest fluence. What is fluence? Fluence is the amount of energy delivered per uh, square centimeter, or joules per square centimeter. The Capillus cap has the most number of lasers of anyone sold on the market today at 272. I've got my personal Capillus laser cap sitting right beside me here. I use it three times a week for 30 minutes and I've noticed that it is holding off my hair loss really well. I don't offer the competitors products because they simply do not have the number of lasers and therefore not putting the same amount of energy into the scalp. I find the compliance, you know, be, the chronicity of the treatment is what makes it effective. The fact that we're using it three times a week. Patients often think, geez, that's, that looks like a big deal. I'm not sure I'm going to have the time for that. I don't have the kind of lifestyle from that. That's just not for me. And so I kind of, you know, I use one myself, personally, sitting right here. And so it, I, it's, it's in front of my computer. When do I use it? I spend a bunch of time on the computer. And so typically, you know, Every other day or so while I'm at work, I'll just kind of pop my cap on and turn it and just the battery sits on the desk and I'll just turn it on. It doesn't get in my way. I don't have to think about it. There's no combing. There's no worrying. There's, it just kind of goes in your head. It doesn't get warm. It doesn't hurt. So that's why I offer the Capillus and I suggest it over uh, any other device just because it has the most potency or fluence in the shortest amount of time which I believe will, will increase patient compliance, especially as the results sort of pan out over the eight to 12 months, which is how long it typically takes to see uh, positive results with the device.